This is the kind of device customs agents use to detect new synthetic drugs like this one. The EU has so far registered more than 750 of them, but new ones are always emerging. They can be extremely harmful and are often imported under false customs declarations. So how can we identify and fight against this new, very dynamic drug market? That's the mission of this lab. Customs agents are in a race against time to detect the so-called legal highs, chemicals that mimic the effects of cannabis, cocaine or heroin that anyone can buy cheap on the web, as they're often not illegal. The danger is that we know very little about these molecules, often produced by labs in Asia. To know more, we're heading to Ispra in Italy, the site of the European Commission Joint Research Centre, where scientists analyse these mysterious drugs. Samples are often sent here by member states' authorities, whose routine checks gave no clear results. The police and customs are confronted with the fact that there are more of these substances than traditional illegal drugs. In general, they rely on a data library to identify these products. But for these new drugs, which have just been synthesized, often there is absolutely no data. So we have to start from scratch, and we need specialized labs like ours to identify these new structures. The researchers' work is to compose a detailed encyclopedia of the new synthetic drugs. They first must shed light on these herbs and powders, which might have never been tested on humans before. The mass spectrometer gives us the actual molecular weight of the sample, and this, in combination with our information from the nuclear magnetic resonance instrument, will allow us to elucidate the structure of the sample in question. In a few days, the chemical nature of the molecule is unveiled and transmitted to the customs network. Authorities can decide to ban it, but a variation of the drug may quickly replace it. The production of psychoactive chemicals is progressing at incredible speed. We have reached two new psychoactive substances per week. We must be able to identify them very quickly. The concrete impact of this scientific effort can be found in Heel, another site of the JRC in Belgium. This lab develops applications for these portable instruments, which integrate all the chemical fingerprints recorded in ISPRA. Now, customs can detect suspicious products in the field without having to handle them. La spectroscopia Raman. The Raman spectroscopy is an analytical technique in which a ray of light acts on a molecule and makes it vibrate, allowing us to obtain a unique spectrum for each substance. Both labs work together and it allows them to find a solution where the chemical fingerprint of a seized substance is not in the library. They've developed a way to indicate whether it belongs to three main drug families, cathinone, cannabinoid or fentanyl, a highly toxic opioid. This means that a customs officer, even without the spectrum that identifies the substance, knows he must treat it with great caution because the substance is potentially deadly. In November, the EU finally labelled new psychoactive substances as drugs. And now, with this device, customs officials can step up the fight against them.